All right, guys, so I've got quite a story for you guys today. We're talking about a guy who apparently is going to lose $225 million in Bitcoin. That's right, $225 million because he can't remember his password. And this is a crazy, crazy story that I saw in the news and I just couldn't not talk about because I could not imagine what would be going through my mind if I was this dude. Uh, he bought it back in 2011, and back then it was ridiculously, ridiculously cheap, back when it sold for just $2 per coin. And I've always had an interest in Bitcoin, not that it's something I've ever known much about. Uh, it's not something I own any anything of, but I find it very interesting to look into because the, the nature of it is absolutely fascinating, and I don't know exactly how this works, and maybe someone in the comments could uh, give me a little bit more of an accurate reading on this. But it's nothing that you can try. It is nothing that is centralized in any way, shape, or form. It is completely decentralized. It is completely uh, not on a not on a server, not on, a, on a, a one single cloud, but it is just out there. I, I don't really know exactly how it works, but from my sort of minimal understanding of this, basically on his blockchain account, and if you guys don't know what blockchain is, that's where you go to to store your cryptocurrency on his blockchain account you cannot retrieve your password. They simply don't save it. I don't know how or why there's no central database. I assume it's for the better uh, for security and safety and things like that. But if you're on the receiving end of someone who uh, is not able to remember their password like this guy, uh, I imagine you would be very, very upset. Uh, he seemed pretty calm uh, when talking about it on the news. It's hard to believe because I would probably be a lot more devastated if that was me. But essentially the way this works is they give him 10 tries. They get 10 tries to enter the correct password. And if you don't enter it right after 10 times, the account is locked forever. Forever it is locked, and you will never have any way of retrieving your money ever again. Now, I don't know whether or not this is technically uh, legal. It wouldn't be legal if it was a stock or a bank account or anything like that uh, because there would have to be some way to sort of retrieve it. But because I think either international law or the way that the, the system is built, the cryptocurrency system is built, uh, that's the way this works for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So uh, he's on try number eight, which... <laughs> It's pretty nerve-wracking because after eight tries, you know you've got two left. So if you either make a typo or perhaps after all ten, after losing all ten, you one day in ten years think of a password or think of something, uh, you would probably be a little devastated because you've blown all your chances to redeem yourself and remember your password. Now, what would you do if you were this guy? And, and I've been thinking about this for a little bit, and uh, I think I came up with a, a sort of best, uh, worst answer here, and that would be just to forget about it for the time being. Consider that money something you never had, you never will have. It's a weird thing to, to, to say, but you know, just just try to write it off in your head as a, as a video game or as something that you never really had your hands on. It sounds crazy because it's already there, but ideally, if you're able to do that and spend the next five or ten years of your life waiting and thinking actively, perhaps someday, some way, somehow, you'll think of that password again. I would write down every single idea, every single person I've known, every single hobby I've had, every single thing I've done, everything that's interested me, anything that comes to mind as to where I would have derived that type of password for. And if I can, can do that, if I have some way of doing that, then perhaps some way it would come back to me one day. I would also probably yeah, probably tear up my house looking for uh, looking for any slip of paper or anything, but I'm sure he's probably already done that uh, and had no luck. So a uh, rather, rather unfortunate uh, story. I thought it was something interesting you guys uh, would, would like to listen to. So if you guys enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I've been getting back to posting on the second channel, so make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Check out my Twitch. I stream every single day. Down below the description. My name is Matt. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.